Denmark is renowned as one of the most bike-friendly countries in the world. So of course, while being on a short vacation here, we had to make sure and it was time to hop on a bike. Get ready for an amazing cycling adventure through the picturesque landscapes. These Danish villages are so picturesque and idyllic. But as is usual with us, it will not be easy. Ah. Join us as we pedal through the stunning countryside, exploring the diverse beauty Denmark has to offer. We are going to start in a charming town not far from Copenhagen. We are in a little town called Roskilde. And this is a very nice square. There are a lot of flowers. And look, the train station is very pretty as well. So. We came from there. <laughs> Surprise! Walking in the pretty streets decorated with colorful flowers was very nice. The town has a population of around 50,000 people and it wasn't very crowded. It is known for its rich history and cultural heritage. One of the most famous attractions here is the cathedral, a UNESCO World Heritage Site and the final resting place of Danish kings and queens. And this is the cathedral. It's very big, so it's impossible to fit it into frame. <laughs> so you know, you can get the feel how big it is. And yeah, that's the main thing here in this little town. Let's take a look here. There is nobody here. It's 11.40, of course. <laughs> <laughs> the bells are ringing. We found an interesting palace here. It's very really pretty and nobody is here that's interesting. Yeah, where are they? <laughs> I love finding such hidden places. <laughs> Yay. Looks like we replanted recently in our garden on the support construction. Yeah, clematis. Yeah. It looks so beautiful, so I'm looking forward to this. Yeah. And not just clematis, there is also this wisteria. Wisteria? Wisteria. And we would love to have wisteria one day in our garden, but we haven't found a suitable place yet. After half an hour, we figured out how to rent bikes. Yay! So here are our two bikes for today and we are going on a trip. Yes, so this should be exciting. Mine is Hug. H-U-G. Mm -hmm. And Peter is pink. Yes, but the bikes are orange. Yeah, so that's very Dutch. <laughs> yeah. For me. I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to put my backpack here into this thingy. Sadly, only one of the bikes has this basket. Other ones don't, so that's quite sad, but oh well. At least this one. And as you can see, these are city bikes. Everyone drives bikes here in the streets and everywhere. Denmark is very flat, so it should be easy and we should be able to do this day trip. So many cars driving by all of a sudden. Okay, so it looks like we are ready to go. Wish us luck. <laughs> In a port, we didn't even know was here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it feels Mediterranean now. Yeah. <laughs> I can smell fish. And it's very warm. <laughs> yeah. So it's quite difficult to navigate because we don't know where we are going. Like there are so many turns. So yeah. We need to get out of the city and then it'll be easier. out 
of the town, so that's nice. And we made a little stop here on the beach. Yay! Let me try the water. Okay, guys, I can tell you that Tommy will not go into water today. <laughs> sure. But me, I might. But not now, I think. We need to bike further because this was quite pathetic. We are still quite close to the town. Yes. And a lot of kilometers are ahead of us. So we need to go. No time to rest. No time to rest, yes. You can see Denmark is not as flat as we thought. <laughs> so sometimes we have to do this. We are now in Bosserup or Bosseru or something for it. And the bike is so heavy, heavy with my backpack. <laughs> so this is not easy. But it's definitely a nice exercise. We know these city bikes are not ideal for such cross-country trips, but they were the easiest to rent, so we said to ourselves that it would be okay and we would be totally fine. We are going to this peninsula called Bognes. It's a peninsula that's on an island. Mm -hmm. interesting. Yeah. <laughs> and it's a good thing we are going on bikes because it's quite far away. We wouldn't make it on foot. Yeah, yeah. And there should be maybe beaches, like one or two. Okay. So we'll see. Hopefully it will still be sunny by then. Yeah, some high clouds are coming and they are getting denser. So we'll see. But I can't from that tree behind you. It's so, so beautiful. huge amounts of wild garlic on this side and on this side it's everywhere and it's in bloom we've never seen such huge amounts so these are the leaves and you can eat them and they are very garlicky we have a few of them in our garden and we would like to have <laughs> such huge amounts <laughs> that would be cool when they are in bloom the good stuff in the leaves like it's getting less so it's better before the flowers appear but still yum Time for a little rest and little snack. Here are our wild garlics. So I'm glad they are getting vitamins and everything. And there are no beaches. We found a path that led to what was on the map a beach, but there was a sign, no entry. So yeah, that's quite a shame. We are here on this meadow instead. It's quite nice and we are glad we are resting <laughs> because it's not easy on the bikes.
my bike is making sound. This noise is not very pleasant. There is something wrong with the brake. For the brake, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, it's not going very well, but nothing we can do about it, so we have to deal with it. It's like from a horror movie. You know, when there is a killer with knife, the killer is coming. So I am the killer now. I just need to find some big knife. We made it to a beach, a different one, with swans, so that's nice. And there are not that many people here. I was expecting crowds, but it's quite nice. <laughs> yeah. On the internet it was written that it's extremely busy, but... Someone in reviews was saying that there are a lot of people here. Yeah. Okay, so maybe it was holiday or something. Maybe. This looks quite nice. There are some clouds, but the sun is still shining at least a little bit, so you should try the water. I already tried and it's cold, so I don't have to try it again, it's fine. Okay, so... I will try it. Oh wow, you are bitten here. I'm wow. bitten in many places. There were a lot of mosquitoes in the forest. Mm -hmm. So every time we stopped, I got bitten like three or four times. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. It's tough. So the places, <laughs> it's cold. <laughs> it's definitely colder than the lake where I was swimming. So, I don't know. It looks like it's a walking sea, so it's fine. That's true. So this counts, because this is walking only beach. Yeah, definitely. We need a rest, so this stop is needed, even without going into water. Look at the little bunny. <laughs> so cute. These Danish villages are so picturesque and idyllic. I can look at the little cottage here. It's amazing. And this playground in the middle of the village. And there is so much greenery and everything. I absolutely love it. And bunnies. <laughs> so, wow, Danish countryside, amazing. Peter says we have to go this way now. Yes, we do. It sounds like fun with a bike. <laughs> oh, a heavy bike. Good thing you work out. Oh my god. It's not easy. <laughs> we are almost there. Few more meters and ta-da! Jump? <laughs> no, you don't have to jump. This is a special ferry. That we have to drive ourselves? Yes, so it's eco-friendly. So you need to pull the thingy and you need to bring the ferry to us. Oh. So show us uh -huh. your muscles. One, both of them, or? I think the lower one. 
and the fairy is coming. <laughs> so fun. Yeah. <laughs> Such a cool toy. Very useful for us. Because there is this river, we need to cross it. Yay! And we can get on. Your fairy awaits. <laughs> It's not easy to get there. Is it swinging in the waves? Yeah, totally. <laughs> and now me. Okay, I am here. We can go. Driver, let's go. You have to close the door. Closing the door now. Should I go? What should I pull? Choo -choo. Oh, this, yeah. It's so easy. <laughs> like, it's not easy, but it's going smoothly. We are moving. <laughs> this is so cool. Such a silent fairy. Listen <laughs> to the countryside voices. Emission free. Bye. Why did we stop? We run out of power. We did. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> Just kidding. I'm full of energy now. We can go back and forth because this is so cool. <laughs> yeah. I want to stay here longer. It's so idyllic. Guys, I can't. I totally feel like in a fairy tale. Look at the river. It's so wow. So peaceful here. Yeah, and on that side as well. Oh, wow. This is how I imagine countryside. It's totally fairy tale like. Because so, it's a kingdom. Yeah, that's why. That must be it. So this kingdom is so picturesque and cute and idyllic and like this thing I can't so we are almost there on the other side but I don't want to get off <laughs> it's really cool I haven't seen anything like this before yeah me neither like I heard about such things but now we can see it and there is nobody here I just found an article on the internet and some guys, local guys, were riding bikes here in the area and this was mentioned and they were even saying that this is not very popular, there are usually no people because it's not convenient but wow, I'm so glad I found that article <laughs> and we are here today. Yeah, it's a really nice spot We are going to take a rest here by this lake. During the day it should be turquoise. At least I saw some pictures on the internet and it was amazing. So sadly it's evening and the sun is behind clouds. So this is what we get. And here we have a lovely bench. So this will be our dinner spot. We are quite tired. I am. We are back in the city, 
and we park the bikes close to the train station. That's an advantage that you can park it in multiple places around the city. So we are leaving it somewhere else than where we started the journey. Mm -hmm. So I will end the rental of mine. Push the orange handle to close the lock. And it's done? Yay! We can go? Okay, we will go. We are sitting at the train station waiting for our train and we'll be on our way back to our accommodation. And this was such a great trip. We were able to see a much bigger part than if we went on foot for sure. Yeah, and I'm glad we explored the countryside this way. It was so cool and it's better than just seeing Copenhagen, yeah. for example. All these little villages and... We've been traveling for 15 years and this is the first time ever that we rented bikes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so cool. So yeah, we loved it. I love that in Denmark everything is prepared for bikes. You know, there are bike lanes everywhere, even in cities. You have your own separate bike lane. There are traffic lights just for you. And you never feel in danger because the cars know what to do. And it's all designed the way that you are protected. And every country should get inspired by this because on bikes, I feel like there is freedom, you can go anywhere and here you don't have to worry that there will be cars, that you will be in danger. Our muscles will hurt tomorrow a lot. So. It was definitely more challenging than what was promised to me. Yeah, and it was <laughs> more challenging than what I was expecting. So <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, it does. So, okay, we are going to bed soon hopefully <laughs> and we'll see you next time bye